So it's become obvious to me from your comments and emails that uh, there's a big demand for very basic machining videos. Uh, probably more basic than I've been doing up to this point. But uh, this is probably a good time because since I've, I just started my new website, I've been pretty busy lately on uh, the second project tutorial, trying to get that all put together. So I don't have a lot of time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bunch of short two to three minute videos on, on the most basic of the basic machining techniques or processes. Um, things like facing, center drilling, turning to a diameter, turning to a shoulder, uh, machining a, a chamfer, uh, knurling, drilling, all that, all the basic operations. And most of those are on the lathe, but there's an equal number of basic operations on the milling machine. So I'll go into those as well. And since I have the website, I can easily organize them and put them all in one category. So kind of keep them all in one place and make them, make them easy to, to view. So I think we're going to start out today by covering uh, facing, how to face the end of a part. It's probably one of the most basic operations there is on the lathe. Just machine the end of a part so it's square and so you can, so it's easy to measure from, easy to locate from, and so it's easy to center drill if you want to support the end with a center. So I did a video a while back on grinding a turning and, well, a turning tool, right hand turning tool, and I, I hinted to the effect in that video that it's a facing tool is pretty much the same thing just without a side cutting edge angle. So I went ahead, this, this is an example of a, a facing tool. It's ground pretty much the same as the, the right hand turning tool that I did in the video. Uh, the difference is it has a zero side cutting edge angle and it also has this 45 degree clearance angle for the center. If you want to, that's an option. If you want to face a part that has a center in the end of it for support, that, that angle there will clear the center so you can get in very close to the center of the part. Um, I sat down today and put together, and you may have seen on the website in my reference section, you may have seen one of these on the, the right hand turning tool. Well here's, here's one on the right hand facing tool. It has all the angles, shows what's needed, and, you know, it shows this, uh, this uh, center clearance angle, it shows the end cutting edge angle, end relief, side rake angle, side relief angle, and all the different angles that go with those for the various materials. Okay, this is on my website in the reference section. You can download a PDF, PDF of it. Um, so it's, and this is basically everything you need to know, know to grind a, a facing tool, a right hand facing tool, or if you want to face on the left hand of a part, just reverse all the angles and make a left hand facing tool. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's try it out here. So here's a nice close-in shot. You guys should be able to see what's going on pretty well. Um, first thing we need to do is set, set the tool up. So let's loosen the uh, tool holder. You need to angle the tool out from the end of the stock about, about 10 to 15 degrees just to give, give this area a little bit of clearance on the end so only the tip of the tool cuts. So angle it out a little bit. It's not critical as long as only, only the tip of the tool touches. And we also need to uh, center the tool bit vertically. So just kind of eyeball it to start with. It's not critical right now. After we take a cut, we'll be able to see whether we need to raise it or lower it. Um, RPM, we need to figure RPM. Use the same old four times the cutting speed divided by the diameter formula that I covered in my, my video on surface speeds and RPMs. This is steel. Uh, cutting speed's 100, so 4 times 100 is 400, divided by the diameter, which is inch and a quarter. Gives us about 320 RPM. But remember, that's only, that only applies to the outside surface of the part. Since we're machining all the way to the center, I like to bump it up a little bit, okay? So let's go up around 4, 450, up in that area. Make sure we have enough RPM as we get close to the center of the stock. Okay, for roughing out, for rough cutting, I like to start on the outside and feed in. Just clean up most of that saw cut. Okay, then we can tell how far we are off on center. It looks like we're a little bit low, so let's raise it up a little bit. 
So we get rid of that little nib of steel left in the center there. A little more. A little more. Want to make sure that's gone so if you want to drill a hole in the end of it, you don't have that little piece of aluminum or a piece of steel sticking out there to throw your drill off center. So make sure you get rid of that and then just feed out. You can use, use the power feed or you can feed it by hand either way. This will give you a nice smooth finish. Still got a little bit, a little bit of a bit left in the center there. Let's make sure it's all gone. There we go. Feeding out like this gives you a nice smooth finish. And that's our faced part. Um, probably next next one of these videos we'll do uh, maybe center drilling. I'll see you then.